Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about masking straight lines, thin straight lines for maybe panel lines or something. Okay, so the only tool in Nomads Cult to create something like a thin straight line is the tube tool. So no other tool <laughs> has the option to create a straight line directly so only tube so here's the pass and I start here and I change the notes to black so then you can create here something like a straight line okay so the best thing with the tube is to change the profile so press here profile and here i change the profile and you see here the option for a closed profile so we don't need a closed profile we need a such a flat band and the other thing is here you see the the topology here um, you have to change here, so, so I put this to the top. So here's the three dots menu and here you can change the divisions. So this is the best thing for a, a thin straight line. So. Oh, sorry I changed the profile so we have to go back so here is the radius so here you can change the the thickness of the of the line so maybe like this okay the problem is so for the plane I increase the poly count so I'm using multi resolution and I subdivide it up to a million. So okay, and now I want to reproject the, the line to the plane. And for this, so I'm I'm using uh, the validate button. And now I'm using solo view and I mask the whole thing. So now the tube is masked. So go back to the plane. And here you find in the MISC menu the reproject option. So here you can reproject the mask from the other object. So when you press now reproject, the whole plane is masked. So yeah, it doesn't work because the mask is bleeding. So it it spreads out from the from the tube. So you have to do it other way. So you need Procreate or a other painting app. And you need a black um, a blank canvas, 512, 512 pixel. And change the um, here. So we need a white color here, color white. And fill the layer and then you need a second layer and change it to black and fill this layer and now make the black layer a little bit smaller like this 
and place it in the center. So now you see here a white border around the black um, square. And this white border protects the mask from bleeding. So now I export this JPEG. Save. So back to Nomad Sculpt. So I need the. Uh, I have to go back. So here the tube is not validated at the moment. So now here's the opacity slot, this slot here. And place here your opacity map. And when you zoom in, you see here there's a white border around the tube. So this is the protection borderline. So it's everywhere. Sorry. And you see here at the end here there's a yeah this is a texture thing you can't change it at the moment. So this is when you use a open tube. So you yeah, you have to use it like it is. So, and now I select the plane and using reprojection. But now we have to change from opacity um, to this opacity to mask to this checkbox. And then when you press reproject from high res, you get your reprojected um, mask. Yeah. So the other thing is when you use here a closed tube, so the tube is closed, and when you put the opacity map like this here, you see here this is not um, a correct opacity mask for this. So you have to change in Procreate the texture, the black one, and freeform, and scale it like this. So now you got your white borders left and right, like this, and share it as a JPEG. And in Nomad's Cult, change the, the texture. So now you see here the white protection line On the tube. So, and the benefit is you don't have to um, invalidate your tube. So, you can create here now your straight lines. Maybe like this. And then switch to the plane and reproject. So now you got your straight lines. And yeah, so with a mask, it's possible to invert the whole thing and use um, the inflate or option to create such things. Um, yeah. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.